quarter to nine in the morning. Uh, it's Friday. It's weigh-in day. Back on track. Say nothing about the last two weeks. Morning, uh, another lovely bulletproof coffee. Ooh. I haven't eaten anything since about, I don't know, maybe about three o'clock yesterday afternoon, maybe. Um, and I had two lovely big pork chops and some shredded cabbage. So that literally is the first mouthful of anything I've had since uh, yesterday afternoon. Um, absolutely delicious. I've about, in that, now there's about 600 mils of, 550, 600 mils of coffee, and there's about 30 um, grams of, well, 27 if we want to be exact, but 30 grams of um, butter in there. And that's about 200 and, ooh, where's we hair there? About 214, 220 calories or something like that. Perfect way for me to start the day. I was actually watching a video there this morning um, on YouTube uh, by the Fat Adapted Athlete. And he had been heavily overweight and is now, you know, all pumped and everything. Um, and he was going on about, no, you shouldn't have bulletproof coffee. Now, obviously that was a clickbait headline. Um, we're under no illusions about that. But I think what his point was is you can't just have bulletproof coffees um, ad infinitum and um, ad liberatum or whatever the, the phrase, you know. In other words, you can't just have them for the sake of having them. Um, I have fasted since yesterday afternoon, so I'm well over 12 hours fasted. Um, if I'm doing intermittent fasting, which I try to do. I try to have one good meal a day and then the rest, um, a couple of snacks or a couple of bulletproof coffees. That works for me. Um, and this will do me right through at least to lunchtime. And then I'll think about maybe defrosting something in the fridge or in the freezer for, um, I think I've got some lovely chicken breasts. And then I've got my sriracha sauce. So, you know, I've enough um, out there that I can see myself through today and then tomorrow, Saturday, I'll do a weekly shop for myself and my son. So, that's all by the by. Um, oh, news. Guess who was in a car accident? What day was it, Wednesday? Yeah, Wednesday, car accident. Me. Thankfully, I was not at fault. It was a bloody woman driver though. I know that's very sexist, isn't it? But it was a woman driver! Went into the back of me. Now my back's stiff, but I had, the thing is, I had had a bit of a neck issue um, that I have actually got an appointment with a physiotherapist today, first appointment. Um, but my back is really sort of all stiff now, probably because of the jarring, you know, you're not, I had my hand on, you know, the gear stick and the wheel as I was um, about to move off and then she went into the back of me. So didn't help anything anywhere anyway. So I'm all right, she's all right, everybody's fine. It was a shunt, uh, more cosmetic than anything, the damage that's been done to my car. Her car came off worse, bless her. So um, getting it repaired, um, getting a wee hire car for a couple of days or whatever, just to see me through and um, all's well. Other bit of news, that same day I was supposed to go out, which I did do, um, to my son's school play. He was Bert and Mary Poppins. Laurence Olivier, eat your heart out. Dick Van Dyke. Bless him, he was absolutely freaking adorable. And if I, if I can, I'll maybe put a wee snippet up on YouTube um, of him singing one of his wee solo bits. Uh, what did he just sing? Up where the something's all la da dee dee. I, I've, I've been listening to it and I still can't even get the words. Um, I've been going through it for him. He used to do the chimney sweep thing and he'd do the chim chim cheree, chim chim cheroo. He'd to do a line, he'd to do a verse in super califragilistic and then he'd all wee verses and stuff like that there. Of course, I'm the you know, very proud mother. Very proud. Thinking about my Oscar outfit now for years to come. 
to hell with him being a doctor or a lawyer. I, he's gonna be he's gonna be on the stage. First stage out of town, just like I should have been years ago myself. Anyway, very proud of him. He did very well, very confident, very, you know, sang out to the audience rather than just some of them were kind of just getting through the words. Um, so I'm very proud of him. He did very well. And uh, so you get a wee treat this weekend um, for that. What else? What else do I need to come on here for? Oh, my weight. What am I like? I might even have to delete this video if it sounds really stupid when I play it back. But anyway, where am I? So, recap. Last week we were... Um, Last Saturday, I did my first video in two weeks. I'd been in Boston that week. The week before that, I'd had a little up, um, uptick, shall we say, in the weight at 200 pounds. Last week, coming back from Boston, I was 204.8. And I said, the goal of this week was to get myself back into, back in ketosis and back on track. Um, and since Sunday, I have been back on track from a um, dietary regime. Um, I did the little video on Monday. We saw the pea stick. It was pink. Uh, did one this morning. It was um, slightly darker as well. Again, that's an overnight thing. So I would expect it to be darker in first thing in the mornings anyway. But we're back in ketosis. I also did my blood glucose this morning. Um, the last time I did it was a couple of weeks ago, probably. I think it was a fasting one, but I did it like before eight o'clock in the morning. And there's such a thing called a dawn, dawn phenomena in diabetics. I was gonna say diabetes, but diabetics where their blood glucose is elevated to a higher degree. And I think the, the jury's out as to whether or not this is a normal phenomenon as well, but I've been doing it and I definitely can say that my blood, glu blood glucose level before eight o'clock is a lot higher than it is after eight o'clock. And a part of that is I think your body from about 4 a.m., if you've had a good night's sleep, your body from about 4 a.m. starts to produce the hormones that gets your body ready for waking up. And one of those things is probably to get you enough energy once you are awake to get up and go on and do things. So you would probably expect there to be a release of sugar into your bloodstream for your muscles to start moving again. Because don't forget they've been in a catatonic state for you know five, six, eight hours, however long you sleep previously. So they need... Um, some, an energy push. So your body releases um, glucose and that is probably where this dawn, pheno dawn phenomenon comes from. It's probably a normal thing, but in diabetics it's probably elevated because of the insulin issues that they have. Now, I don't have um, a lot of insulin floating around my body because I'm in ketosis. Um, so I'm still trying to work out whether or not I had been pre-diabetic or whether or not it really just is one of these normal phenomena sort of thing. So, excuse me while I have a wee sup of that while it's still, do you know there's nothing nicer than a, you know if you're having a cup of tea or a cup of coffee and it's, it's almost too hot to sort of drink but it's just on the, the bit where you can get a really kind of lovely sort of, um, hot swill in your mouth, swill. Well, you know, a hot uh, mouthful, but it's not going to burn you. I love that. And that's just at that temperature now. Anyway, I digress. So I did it this morning and it's 85. Um, I use the, I think it's the micrograms per um, DL or something like that, as opposed to the micromoles. Two different things. One is something like you're supposed to be between four and six or something. The one I have, you've got to be between 70 and 100. So I was 85. So again... Um, I'm bringing the um, the levels right back down again. But when I'd done it two weeks ago, it was something like 106, which kind of frightened me a little bit. But again, so I've been reading, you know, some people say that it's a normal phenomenon. Some people say it's just in diabetes. Um, I've now ran out of my little lancets and um, testing strips. I'm going to order them today 
um, and probably once a month or something like that or maybe a couple of weeks just keep on the the glucose after I mean and I might even do it sort of one at six o'clock in the morning one at eight o'clock just to see what that looks like but regardless it's all in normal levels so the weight last week 204.8 coming off a exceedingly high carb week in Boston um, and that's Boston USA not Boston Lancashire just in case there's any uh, any uh, confusion so today 198.2 I am lighter look at me look like a butterfly sing like a bee I am lighter than at any point that I was last year. We have broken through the barrier. La, 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 la. Ah! Now you know where my son gets his acting abilities from, darlings. Oh, look at me. Hello, hello, hello. Anyway. <laughs> I mean, I had a breath doing that. Right, so I had got down to 198 dead this week on, I think, Tuesday, Thursday, Tuesday or Thursday, whatever it was. Uh, so 198.2, you know, I, that's the thing, I'm starting to see this. I tend to come down to a low midweek and then my body just starts to go a little bit higher by the time we get to video week or video day. So. 198.2. <gasps> I'm freaking delighted. Delighted. I'm absolutely over the moon. 198.2. Remember last year's absolute low back in April, May last year. And actually, no, was it was it April the 19th, I want to say? I have it in my fitness pal anyway. Um, I had it recorded, it was mid-April, towards the end of April anyway, and it was 198.4. The next reading after that went up to 201, 204, 205, and then obviously we went into the, the pit of despair after that. So, as I said in one of the previous videos, I'm at a crossroads now. This is danger time. And I'll tell you another reason why it's danger time. And again, I'm going to do one of my sweeps back. Right, okay, so still a fat cow, but anyway, now I wanna show you these. These are my favorite pair of cords in the universe, right? They're, the, they're my mushroom cords. I love them. Um, they're just a beautiful off browny gray color and I just oh, freaking adore them. Anyway. The point I want to make is they are a fairly low rise, okay? They're a low rise one. So, you know, I have to be careful when I'm wearing any tops that um, I don't show, you know, my butt crack. Um, and, but look, look, they're on. And I'm showing fat here, but you know, the hell with it, that's what I've got. I've got to lose this. Uh, yes, I'm getting the old bulge over right I've still got this this is disgustingly ridiculous um and you know so and, and it's you know if I slide it sits over the top but the point is I can get these on so I have a goal now to get these to be too loose on me right that's the goal these have to become too loose but isn't it so nice when you get to that stage where you're putting on something and look, you know, I'm, not, I'm under no illusions that I'm, I'm skinny. Do you know what I mean? I'm, I still have a long way to go, but these are the milestones that make it worthwhile, okay? This is what keeps you going. But, you know, they're not cutting into me. Do you know what I'm saying? These are not um, so, you know, there's nice give there. There's a hell of a lot of fat there, but there's a bit of give there as well. The only thing is obviously, as I say, this bit here, see this abdomen piece from under the boobs to the belly button? Um, it's awful. I just can't, it's not going down at all. It's not. So, but 
we're making progress. These are the, the little hurdles that we get past. I, I, look, last year's behind me. All that pigging out up to 216 pounds is behind me. I am hoping that 200 pounds is now behind me. We're two, we're two pounds under 200 pounds. Um, and I'm hoping that's behind me now. So, um, next stop is 196, no, 195. That'll break me through the 14s. That'll be, that means I'll be 13, 13. 195, 13, 13. Um, and we'll try and get there over the next two weeks. I'm not, look, that we know this is a slow, I have tried and failed in the past to lose weight because I've been trying to do it too quickly. I've been trying to go for the three and four pounds a week. Now, between 100, I, I've lost roughly, what, six pounds in the last week. That's, but that's water. I, you know, I'm under no illusions about that. That is water bloat because I've eaten so many carbs. That's not fat. There might be a little bit of that is fat weight to get me from the previous low of 199 down to where I am 198, right? So that, that's, that might be the fat content of that weight loss, but the rest of it is just um, bloat. So let's not kid ourselves here, folks. Um, so what else? Yeah, look, I'm 198. Um, I've got to get my hair done. It's getting terribly grey at the moment. It's getting, it's getting long again. I was looking through some of my older um, videos, the past videos, and I think I sit my hair when it's more sort of, you know, just on the jawline coming around as opposed to long. But I, 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 I'm in this thing. I want to grow my hair a bit longer, maybe down. Last year I had it down as long as low as this, you know, just on the top of the boob. So I don't know whether I sit that or not, um, but. Well, see, I'm looking around to see if there's anything that I had to talk about in my wee weekly roundup, and I think, I think I'm all good, folks. It's not like me. Normally, I'm 25 minutes before I even think about finishing these. Um, I'm only at 17, although I say that every time. We're only seven, we're 17 minutes already, and then two minutes later, I'm at 25 minutes. Um. So yes, yeah, so there was a bit of a hectic week in, in regards to the car accident. Um, the play Mary Poppins and um, getting back on track and I feel fabulous um, while I was away my skin was very spotty and that's starting to clear up again as well so you know I'm really am saying that carbs are not good for me in in any shape or form I bloat horribly I mean I, there was practically half a stone of bloat on me from one week of normal carb eating now I, and i say um you know i picked out i picked out from the perspective that um from where i had been but it's not like a, um yeah i'm okay i had the marshmallows had been pierced but my, my point is when i was eating over in boston i wasn't having um like three square meals a day there were, if, if i had a meal in the evening i probably didn't have that lunch or whatever yes i had a uh, pasta and whatever but it was in a normal um portion size um, so in that respect um, it just shows you then how much bloat you do put on with carbs I mean all of you try it go without carbs for a week and I'm telling you you will drop at least half a stone now it, it is water weight but it just shows you how much you do actually hold um, with carbs the other thing is TMI moment look away now since um, Saturday's video, I haven't had a poop. So, um, that's the other, and I, I keep saying about this, that's the, it's such a weird thing. When I was over in the States, I was pooping every day because I was eating carbs. When I'm having protein and fat as the, as my diet, I don't poop. Now, am I starting to feel a little bit kind of, you know, uncomfortable down in my very lower intestine I can feel there's you know it's um, it's a bit sluggish down there 
But even if I did go, it wouldn't be like a whole, you know, whatever. There's nothing sacred these days, um, guys. You know, everything gets talked about. But so and the other, and the other thing is that you can't rely on a good poop to lose the weight either. You know, oh, quick, I better go to the loo. I might drop half a pound before I do my video. No, that doesn't work um, on this diet, uh, unfortunately. So. Um, there we look, we've got up to 20 minutes already. So anyway, I'm very happy. We're back on track, folks. We've put the last week or two behind us. We've broke new ground, 198.2. I am, oh, I'm actually relieved. I'm really, excuse me, I'm relieved that, actually, do you know what? I'm, I'm proud of myself that I've, that I've persevered this far. Word of the year, perseverance. Uh, but I'm proud that I've persevered through the highs and lows, through that horrible two to three, 203, 205 kind of static period. Um, I'm proud that I didn't use Boston to be an excuse just to continue on the carb route. Um, so, you know, I'm, I'm really happy. I've, I've done it. We have so much more to go. There's such a long journey ahead of me on this. But we've broke new ground, 198.2. So let's see what the let's see what the future holds. We're in new territory here, folks. I have not been this low um, since I started monitoring on my fitness pal, um, and I started monitoring way back as far as last February, and I was up in the 210s and everything. Okay, so. 198.2 I probably haven't been this weight in at least two years um, and I can't honestly remember apart from last year's low and that was when I was doing a the VLCD and trying to lose weight for charity which I did uh, but I I got to this weight and then I went straight back up again um, if I get below 14 stone I don't know when I was last under 14 stone, at least three or four years ago, probably, at least. So this is, I'm actually getting a bit emotional. This is the start, this is the real start of, of my journey. I had a baseline of 198.4, I've broken through, um, and I wanna continue on. I'm, I'm under no craving to, ever want to see 200 again never ever i mean you know they always say you have to lose weight for yourself you can't have any other excuse um to lose weight you can't lose it for your kids your husband whoever um you can't lose weight to think that oh i will be attractive to the opposite sex if i lose weight i mean i'm 40 flipping five that's not gonna happen anymore um but i want to be able to walk down the street and pass the windows, you know, and look in and not go, Christ, do I, is that the way I look? Because that's not the way I looked when I walked, looked in the mirror. And then you see yourself and you realise that is actually how other people see me. Um, I want to do it because I want to prove to myself more than anything now that, look at me, I'm getting a wee bit emotional. This is terrible. Do you know what it's like? So I was all watching all the Mary Poppins um, songs again. You know, Feed the Birds, Tuppence a Bag. I can't get through that on YouTube or on the movie without literally tears streaming down my face. No other song probably out there that I can think of will make me cry like Feed the Birds from Mary Poppins. Even thinking about it now, I can... Anyway, how did I get onto that? Oh, why, because I'm getting emotional. Um, I want to do it for myself now. God, you know, I'd love a boyfriend. I really would love a boyfriend. Somebody, you know, that you can close the door on in the evening, you know, go back to your own world. But I would love some, but I'm not under no illusions that that is the reason I'm doing this. I'm doing it now because I want to prove to myself that I, I can achieve what I've set out to achieve. That all those times I gave up, um, it wasn't a facet of my personality this is a facet of my personality this determination to go on this perseverance um that's who i am inside this lazy slob or whatever 
that was that all that and all the weight loss, the weight gain that I put on, that was a facet of external circumstances um, that I internalized by eating. Okay, bad marriage, whatever. Um, I internalize it, I edit. That's not who I am. I am a happy-go-lucky person and slowly but surely I'm regaining that sense of worth of myself um, and that sense of um, you know, I, I'm, I'm, I have to start being good to myself because I am all that I have. I mean, I know I have my son and whatever, but that he's got his life delayed um, whenever he grows up and I love him more than life itself. But you know what I mean? At the end of the day, you know, you come into the world on your own and you go out of it on your own. Um, and you have to be your own best friend. And it's taken me to 45 years, from since probably from about 15, to 45 now, so that's 30 years that I've I've lost that. I was bullied at school and, and I started to lose my se se sense of self-worth. My sense of self-worth. And I want to get it back again. I want to put those 30 years behind me because I'm hoping I have another 60 years ahead of me. And I, I want to absolutely go out into that universe um, with a bang. There you go, look, I told you I'd find <laughs> I told you to find reason to keep talking the bloody 26 minutes. There we go. I'm not going to say any more. As ever, I love you all. Um, you're really... I haven't got replying to, to comments yet, guys, but I do read them. It really does bolster my confidence that you guys are out there cheering me on. It really does. I can't... I can't thank you enough, honestly, that, um, that you are with me on this journey. Um, and even those guys that watch the videos and don't comment... Thank you. Um, I don't care whether he's only watched two minutes or one minute. You might not even see, ever see me doing my wee end bits, but thank you anyway, because it, it's without you give me this level of feedback just by watching or commenting or whatever. Um, it makes me want to persevere to keep going, going on with this. So more to come next week. Let's hope it's another loss and um, we'll see where we are. Love you all, guys. Bye bye.